Again, welcome to Moscow and welcome to the museum. As you can see, I didn't move too far. Previous time, if you remember, I've been to the Tretikov Gallery. So I literally just crossed the street, walked through the Gorky Park and found myself next to the Garage Museum. And as usual, I encourage you to investigate the building before you dive into contemporary art. So look at this beauty, the current home of the Garage Museum. However, two story lines of this building and this museum have crossed only in 2015. But before that, the Garage Museum had another home, and even another name. Let's quickly travel to another side of the city, to the Bakhmetyevsky Bar's garage. In 2008, this building became the birthplace for Garage Center for Contemporary Culture. However, it was built earlier, obviously, by the Konstantin Melnikov, an architect and an engineer, Vladimir Shuhov. As a pure utilitarian construction, it was called Bakhmetyevsky Bar's garage. In the 21st century, it first became space for contemporary art, and later it was delivered to the Jewish Museum and Tolerance Center in 2012. As you might have guessed, the Garage Museum inherited its name after the first location. In Russia, garage is a special culture. In the second half of the 20th century, with the development of automobile manufacturing and the car growth, a personal vehicle was one of the precious possessions of the middle-class household. But for the family treasure, you need a place where one can maintain and enhance a car. But most importantly, you need a solid storage, the role of which was carried out by the garage. From now on, spending time in the garage will have additional meaning for guests and residents of Moscow. In 2012, Garage Center for Contemporary Culture moved to the temporary pavilion designed by the Japanese architect Shigeru Ban. In 2015, Garage Center gained new status and became the Garage Museum for Contemporary Art. A rebranded organization requires decent venue. It was a new challenge for Ram Kulhas and his architectural bureau Oma to restore a ruined restaurant that was called Seasons of the Year. The original facade was lost and it was an opportunity for the architects to create new proper appearance. As you can see, this is a two-stories building with a shiny polycarbonate surface which reflects the greenery of the park, acquires the color of the skies above the city and from there begins the dialogue with the environment. And you see this architectural element that stands out a little bit, which actually reminded me of the garage door. What a nice way to signify the entrance. When you're finally in, take a moment to appreciate this huge mosaic in the atrium. Back in the 20th century, guests of the restaurant would be accompanied by the incredible mural. It was carefully restored as the reminder that everything has been once contemporary. I will not dive into the details of the exhibitions, first of all because Garage changes its expositions with unfailing regularity, and secondly because themes of the current exhibitions deserve their own video, so I will leave this on you to study it by yourself. Speaking of study, the nature of modern and contemporary art contains ideas and concepts that require consideration of historical context, of artist biography, and even the knowledge of the other fields. And this is what I want to talk about it a little bit more. Assume you don't have any art-related education, but would love to learn more. And for this, I would recommend two things. First of all, watch art. More you've seen and contemplated, more visual forms you memorize. In future, you will recognize whether it's something familiar to you or not. Of course, for that you can surf internet, but let's face it, there is nothing better than physical presence in the museum. And the second, find a mediator. You need someone or something that can help you to adapt to the art world, and it doesn't matter what it is. It can be a tour guide, an audio guide, a book, a magazine, or even a good YouTube channel. It's up to you. Seriously, every museum requires a little bit of background. 
a pinch of your curiosity may ignite a big passion. But back to the museum. Garage Museum offers a platform for those who are curious enough to dig deeper. This is a very important venue of the museum. It's an educational center with its own library and lecture rooms. Together with the archive, with the bookstore and with the publishing house, Garage Museum creates a cluster of strongly engaged people, of loyal visitors and committed contributors. So we've learned that despite the wonderful building and the exhibition space, Garage has a full kit for the acquaintances with the art. In addition, it supports artists and researchers by providing them scholarships and creating such stimulating environment. Let's just hope that Garage will not dominate over other cultural institutions, will not become a monopolist in the Russian contemporary art world. Because originality, authenticity and uniqueness come from a living person, not an institution. And as usual, thank you very much for your attention and I hope I'll see you next time somewhere where the art is.